Hello, my name is Ms. Emily. I'm a librarian here at the Mooresville Public Library in Mooresville, Indiana, and welcome to this week's virtual family program, Storigami. So this week we will be combining storytelling and origami, the art of paper folding, into storigami. So as you are folding the paper to create a figure, you'll be telling the story and each time the paper changes, that illustrates a part of your story. Now, I'd like to give all the credit to Rachel Katz. I found all of these stories and the instructions on how to do them on her website, Origami with Rachel Katz. And I really encourage you to check out her page because she has lots more resources for you to check out. So today I'll be telling four different stories and demonstrating the four different origami figures that go along with them. Here they are. Our first story is the Bunny Rabbit Olympics. I'll be using a piece of origami paper with the color side down to start. Two bunny rabbits, two bunny rabbits climbed a hill to watch the Olympics. That's not fair, said the complaining ones. People get to run in the Olympics, but we never do. Never mind, said his happy friend. We can go down the hill and get an ice cream cone. He was still complaining as he held his ice cream cone when a runner came by and knocked the ice cream cone over. I never have any luck, said the complaining rabbit. Never mind, said his friend. I'll give you some of my ice cream. Let's have our own Olympics, said the happy rabbit. We already have the torch. Let the Olympics begin. There is a track. We can each run from one end to the other and see who is the fastest. Okay, said the complaining rabbit as he began to get into a happier mood. Can I go first? Sure, said his friend. So our bunny ran from one end to the other. Well, that rabbit was trying so hard as he ran his race. He was running so quickly that he fell on his face. Then look at me, he said with a laugh, and he side rolled over and he folded in half. Then he picked up his head for all to see Another happy rabbit made with origami. Do you see the rabbit? Here's his tail and his ear and his legs. If you like, you can add some details with a pen. This is the story of the nodding bird. I'll be using a purple sheet of paper with the purple side starting up. I heard there was a very unusual bird that could nod its head up and down and even from side to side. It's known as the nodding bird and the only place you can find it is near the Diamond Lake. I learned that the best time to find the bird was in the winter when the hills are covered with snow. So I started my quest by climbing a hill. It was so cold that I had to clap my hands to keep them warm. Clap, clap. 
I didn't find any sign of the bird, but I did find a cave. I was brave enough to explore the inside of the cave. Luckily, there were no bats at the top of the cave, but I came outside to find a baseball diamond right outside. It was no fun watching the game as the player on first base had an argument with the player on third base. So, since I was at the lake, I decided to take out a boat and look for the nodding bird. Unfortunately, there was no wind and the boat hardly moved. My family must have felt sorry for me because the next thing I knew, they came along in a speedboat. The speedboat took me quickly away where I was met by a giant bird. Oh, could you be the bird that can nod its head, I asked. Yes, I could. Is it too difficult for us to learn to fold this origami bird? No, it's not. And this is the nodding bird. So you can nod up and down like this and side to side like that. Let's make a paper puppet. I'm going to start with a yellow sheet of paper with the color side down. One day, as I was putting my book away, I went to my home and I started to play. when I found this envelope and letter. Fold me some more, it said. You can do better. I folded the top down. And I made a good crease. Open up, it's the origami police. Now fold it just halfway. No more should you dare. And the bottom Can you see up to where? 
then hold it and push it and here's what you say I can do origami hooray hooray <laughs> now this one is very good to add a little bit of features nose Maybe some hair I can do origami. Hooray, hooray. Our last story will be Penguin Pete. We have a black sheet with white on the other side. Start like this. Pete lived on the hill and it was covered in snow. He wore a black coat and held his head low. He rolled over on his tummy and kicked snow with his feet. Then he picked up his head saying, I'm Penguin Pete. This is another bird who can talk. I'm Penguin Pete. So if you stop by the library, you'll get a packet that has all of the instructions of how to do the stories um, step by step. Shows uh, illustrations. These come straight from Rachel Katz's website, so you can also refer to them there, as well as a packet of several origami sheets. We'll give you quite a few, so if you need to practice, you can do that, and, and then maybe present your stories to your family or your friends. If you enjoyed doing some origami today, stop by the library to check out some more books on it. We have lots of different ones that will help you extend your skills even more. So you can start with something like The Beginner's Guide to Origami. This is uh, by Nick Robinson. Easy Origami by Didier Borsan. Or you can uh, find one just on animals, Easy Origami Animals by John Montrell. So these and a lot more are available in our children's department, and we have a few in the adult section too. I hope you enjoyed Storigami today. If you decide to keep going with origami and you learn some new figures, maybe you can tell a story as you are putting them together. Make up your own. Be creative. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great one.